In this video, we're going to see how we can calculate the mean and the standard deviation of data that's already been grouped up into classes using our TI-84 calculator. So we had an example in our video where we learned how to do this by hand, and the data turned out to be grouped in this fashion. Our classes were 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10. Now I'm going to show you how to take this, put it in your calculator, and have it calculate the answer for you. Before you can put it in your calculator, though, you have to find the class midpoint for each class. We learned in the other video, but I remind you to find the class midpoint. You just take the lower class limit for where you're at, the next lower class limit, add them up, divide by 2, so that means the class midpoint here is 1, right? 1 is the middle of 0 and 2, and then 3, 5, 7, and 9, because these are the numbers we're going to put into our calculator along with the frequency. So you have to have both of those to put into your calculator. So let's go ahead and put the, pull that up now into the calculator. So we're going to start by clearing out our calculator here. We're going to go into stat to edit our list. Now, you may have data already stored in one of your lists. Let me show you how to get rid of that. If you had data stored in, say, list one, you can go down to here where it says clear list, and then you want to look on your, your calculator to where it says L1, and that's next to the one button in blue. Since it's in blue, I hit second and then one. And now when I hit enter, it's going to clear whatever data I have in the first list. Now, if you didn't have anything saved in there, you don't have to worry about this. Or if you want to manually go in and delete each element or something like that, that's fine. But that's a quick way to clear out a list. What you're going to do next is you're going to put into list one all those class midpoints. So we said it was one for the first class, three, five, seven, and nine. These were all the class midpoints. Now I'm going to click the right arrow, go to list two. Here's where I'm going to put all of my frequencies at, 5, 4, 4, 3, 4. And now that I have the class midpoints and the class frequencies stored in my calculator, I will go ahead and get out of this, second quit. I will then hit stat, go over to calculation. This is still going to be in the one variable stat mode. My data is in list one, but now I also have frequency here. I need to hit second and then two to indicate I want to use list two as my frequencies. And then I go ahead and hit enter here. And voila, again, we get the sample mean X bar, the sample standard deviation SX, and the population standard deviation sigma X. And this gives us the mean and standard deviation when we have data that has already been grouped up into classes. Okay, so this is the shortcut for how to do it on your TI-84.